Since the hospital opened back in, in the early 80s, health promotion, disease prevention was always part of its, its scope and its mandate. As time went on and the incidence of chronic disease was increasing, there was a real opportunity for us to be the first in Canada to do something that really would make a difference in uh, preventing chronic illness but also helping patients get better and stay well. Modern life makes it very difficult for people to look after themselves. 40% of our population will die of cardiovascular disease. 30 to 35 percent of our population is going to die of cancer of one sort or another. So chronic disease is where we spend most of our traditional health care dollars. When we talk about chronic disease, we're talking about thing, lifestyle related disease. So the amount of physical activity you have in your life, your diet, do you smoke, alcohol level stress, those are major contributing factors where the solution is not prescription. It's, it's a lifestyle prescription. We know to serve that population, we have to work quite collaboratively with healthcare. Um, that's why we're owned and operated by the hospital, to allow that type of seamless uh, clinical and community integration. 